The octopus comes in many shapes and sizes, from small to freakishly large and from plain to multicolor. However, they are not for aesthetic purposes. Instead, each kind of octopus has its own distinct feature that either helps capture prey better or defend itself better. The little blue-ringed octopus looks like a cute, even mythical creature. It is often less than 20 centimeters long and is covered with dozens of faded rings on a normal day. But it all changes drastically when a predator comes close. The rings turn into a bright blue and the octopus turns darker in color, giving it a ferocious appearance that can strike fear or at least shock in most predators' hearts. Most of the time, however, they avoid contact and hide in shells and rocks near the beach. And if you thought this was the only terrifying fact about the ringed octopus, you're wrong. A small pinch from its skin can inject a powerful neurotoxin enough to kill an adult human in a matter of minutes, making it one of the most dangerous octopuses. However, this poisonous octopus will not chew without warning. The average blue-ringed octopus has about 60 rings on its body that look dull and unimpressive. But when you approach nearby, the bright blue rings spell out a clear message. Stay away. While we may not understand the exact words that the octopus is trying to convey, it is very clear to other predators. So if you were out hunting and you saw an animal flashing bright blue, your first instinct would be hesitation. This will give the animal enough time to escape. Octopus, squids, and cuttlefish are known for their ability to change color rapidly. For example, a typical octopus can figure out a complete transformation in just two seconds, changing color, skin texture, and posture. On the other hand, the blue-ringed octopus can flash a completely bright blue warning display in less than a third of a second. In comparison, the cuttlefish takes a couple of minutes to change color, but it has the ability to mimic its surroundings and camouflage completely. So how do these animals, especially the blue-ringed octopus, flash such pretty warning colors? Unfortunately, there is very limited research done in this area. Lydia Mathker, a biologist at Woods Hole's Institute for Marine Biology, and her colleagues attempted to find an answer to the interesting question. To do this, they observed six adult blue-ringed octopuses and videotaped them at very low speeds. The octopus usually relies on three skin structures to create the intricate display. Chromatophores are pigment-filled sacs that are controlled by the muscles around each sac. Bending or contracting these muscles causes the sac to expand or contract, changing the octopus's appearance in each region. Beyond them is the iridophore, a tighter iridescent layer whose color is controlled by proteins and cytoplasm, which reflect the light of UV waves of different wavelengths by changing its arrangements. Finally, the leucophore is a fairly passive white reflector that adds brightness and contrast to the entire display. Chromatophores that contribute to color display can change in milliseconds. In contrast, standard iridophores and leucophores that change color or luminosity, depending on physiological changes, can take up to a few minutes. Researchers have discovered that the blue-ringed octopus has evolved iridophores that are not covered with chromatophores. These blue rings are located in the skin pockets of the muscles and quickly relax or contract, exposing more or less iridescent structures. Researchers have found that these squids do not use chemical signals to change color unlike other animals with iridophores. Hence, the octopus is not changing colors. It is instead exposing the blue underneath in situations of danger. A quick and flashy display of color with muscle control is an advantage for predators who are warned before attacking poisonous creatures and, of course, for the octopus itself to make it inedible. To create a more striking and clear warning signal, the chromatophores surrounding the blue rings turn dark brown and the chromatophores in other parts of the body fade, creating a high contrast with the bright blue ring. This makes the warning clearer, but also gives it a more terrifying, out-of-the-world appearance. So why did this animal evolve blue rings as its warning sign? Why not red, which has higher wavelengths? As Mathger and her colleagues found in their study, most animals that can be predators to the octopus, such as whales, sharks, seals, and large birds, have the ability to see the blue-green spectrum of wavelengths. In comparison, the red-yellow spectrum is less prevalent. In addition, they found that the turquoise part of the visible spectrum is the most prominent surrounding light field in the water, so these hues spread and often pop. Blue also appears more inedible compared to other colors. The octopus also uses its rings as a way to signal to other octopuses nearby in case of danger. This signaling method has never been observed in controlled environments before. Researchers have found that this strategy works in two of the known blue-ringed octopus species. Others have not been tested yet. What do you think of this beautiful yet fearsome octopus? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to Curiosity Lounge for more interesting videos.